I hope you had those Overwatch coins saved up. If you're hoping to get the legendary skins from the Overwatch anniversary event, you might need to be carrying many rabbit's feet for good luck. The ratio of skins to other item types is even lower this time around. There are 11 legendary skins with 108 items total, most of them lower in rarity than the skins. That's the lowest ratio of skins to total items in an event since events started last year. Therefore, you're quite a bit more likely to snag a sweet dance emote than you are one of the new skins, which I mean, isn't a bad thing, they're still cool. The anniversary event also contained the most items period, the closest being Year of the Rooster at 99 items. As each legendary skin costs 3,000 coins, you would need 33,000 coins saved up to unlock them all, which is over half of the required 56,475 credits needed to unlock everything in the event, sprays, emotes, and voice lines included. That makes the anniversary event the most expensive by far. Some Redditors did the math, and when you really dig into it, the cost difference gets even more ridiculous. While the skins only make up for about 10% of the total items for this event, their accumulative cost of 33,000 coins makes them 58.4% the total cost of every new item in the event. The 24 dance emotes are next in line at 18,000 or 31% of the cost, and the 48 voice lines and 25 sprays make up the remaining 10%. It's significantly more expensive than any other event, as you can see here, by more than 20,000 coins. That's, that's pretty insane. You could try and buy loot boxes to test your luck, but the odds really aren't in your favor unless you're looking for coins from duplicates. Thus, if you do want to buy some loot boxes, go ahead and open those up and save the coins for the last day of the event on June 12th. You'll be able to snag that sweet skin you wanted and save the off chance of getting it duplicated in a loot box later down the line through arcade matches and such. You also have to consider loot boxes also drop non-event legendary skins on top of the anniversary skins. And this makes the chance of receiving an event skin even slimmer. I've already had this happen many, many times, and it really sucks. The other unfortunate part about this comes down to timing. Most players exhausted their supply of coins unlocking skins in Uprising, which was only three weeks before the Overwatch anniversary event. While it's plausible that a player might be able to save up 3,000 coins again to get a skin they really wanted before this event ends, it's also unlikely that collectors of skins or people with multiple mains are going to get everything they want. Many players are frustrated with the unlock rate for skins in the Overwatch event, and with costs like these and random chance to contend with, it's easy to be sympathetic to their plight. But despite all this, have you been able to get the skins that you've wanted yet? Let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for continued Overwatch coverage. You're watching esports on PvP Live.